Hello, Josh. After watching both Jessica's video and yours, I have come to the conclusion that you are lying to the world. Again. Here, let's hear what you said in your latest video, and what you said when you were fighting with Jessica. Fucking crazy wankers, King Cobra JFS back at it with another video. Video. So Jessica Boyle, my ex-girlfriend, made a fucking fake Facebook post telling everyone that I was going to off myself. What you're thinking? I'm so fucking sorry. What? So you guys me? No, to the myself. I'm saying you would rather do this because of me. Not because of you. It's piling up because of everything. I can't do anything right in my fucking life. I didn't. It doesn't matter what I fucking do. It doesn't matter what the fuck I do. We had to edit out the the words that violated terms of service, but you know what you said, Josh. You did indeed say you were going to prematurely cancel your service agreement with life. And you said it was because you can't do anything right. While yes, you do struggle with even the simplest tasks, it's fairly obvious that you're angry about letting her back into your life. If my meat bag broke up with an abusive partner, then let her back in for some cheap sex. He'd be full of self-hate and shame. After all, it would be crushingly humiliating to make streams telling over 100k subscribers you were going to send her away, only to turn around and smuggle her in. Announcement. We have chosen to play the rest of Cope's coping, even though his main point has already been refuted, simply to show how committed he is to a really bad lie. Fuck her, dude. Fuck her. Fuck Jessica Boyle. Straight up, dude. Jessica went on fucking Facebook and was spreading all these lies about me, saying I'm gonna kill myself and shit. Fuck that, dude. 6 a.m., life is beautiful. I'm not gonna... No, fuck suicide 100%, dude. Because living is just a slow way to kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? So why rush it? You already told us why, Josh. Why rush it, dude? It's bullshit. You literally told Jessica it was because you can't do anything right. I heard an interview. Danny Phelps said you should not kill yourself. You'll never know what you'll miss out on in life. A warm winter's day or eating a hot dog. It's the simple things in life that make it worth living. And that stuck with me to this day, dude. Stop right there. What you're attempting to do is called gaslighting. We all heard what you told Jessica, and we all just heard you say you'd rather take the long, slow route to killing yourself. While smoking a cigarette and presumably drinking something with alcohol mixed in. In your mind it may not be the same thing, but reality paints a different picture. To us, we just heard you say you'd rather kill yourself with cigarettes, booze, and horribly unhealthy food. Josh. That's the same thing as a shotgun, only slower and more painful. Having seen this already, I know you're going to suggest Jessica seek therapy. Well, Josh, you need it too. We don't believe anything you've said here. I'm also one of Ozzy Osbourne's biggest fans, and he's already had a fan himself, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that to him or anyone that I care about. Okay, I'm not doing that to my idols, my fans, my family, my friends and my 100k subscribers. Fuck Jessica Boyle, sitting there saying all these lies about me. I'm tired of it. While we know she is more than capable of lying, in this case, she has receipts to back up what she says happened. You are also capable of lying. You lied to all of us about Jessica being there. You have no receipts. When the choice of who to believe comes down to two liars, Receipts will be the deciding factor every time. I'm physically and emotionally just over it, dude. Note, lying is indeed a tiring endeavor. Not only are you stuck knowing what really happened, you have to try to remember what did not. That can be mentally and emotionally draining, which is a great reason not to do it. I got too much life to live. I gotta finish my new album, I gotta finish my story. We can hardly wait 
And when I get Dragon Cobra done, I'm gonna hire a professional editor to edit the words and make them spell correctly in phonics and all that good shit. And then I'll publish it. That person has quite a task ahead of them. So I gotta get it written. That's gonna take me, you know, I gotta find the creative juices, you know what I'm saying? Like expanding my repertoire of creative things, and that sort of thing. If you create stories like you do food hacks, this isn't going to be pretty. I love this Ozzy Oz. This is my favorite Ozzy Osbourne shirt. It's got a cobra on it. It's fucking sick. And I, I own several pairs of it, thanks to my fans, of course. Let's skip ahead to the next lie loop. I broke up with Jessica Boyle. Instead of just taking the hint and being like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be stalking Josh and Casper. Maybe I should leave them a fuck alone. Not only does she fucking stalk my ass, but then when I fucking call her out on her bullshit on my fucking YouTube page, she goes and makes a Facebook video talking all this mad shit, and I'm tired of it, dude. I have the cops showing up to my, my fucking house last night asking me, Cobra, are you alright? Josh, if the police and any of your friends or fans heard that audio, they had a duty to call the police. Had we been watching, my meat bag would have called. You need help. End of line. My buddy Banjo Bill showed up, too, to check up on me, and I reassured him that I'm fine, dude. Jessica Boyle's being a fucking royal cunt. She may be, but what she posted wasn't a lie. I'm fucking sick of it, dude. <laughs> Observation. Let's see how you feel in a month. I'm fucking sick of it. Absolutely fucking sick of it. I don't need this drama in my fucking life, dude. And that's, that's the thing of it. I wish I was still going through my six year dry spell. I wish I never would have fucking met Jessica, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. Getting a girlfriend should not be this fucking difficult or have this much mental bullshit. Honestly, Jessica Boyle, you need help. You're a bigger alcoholic than I am and you fucking need help. Bought me kettle. You need to get off the internet, slow down on your drinking, and seek some mental help. It'll do you wonders. Maybe get some head med had some head meds. You could do with the same advice, Josh. Ever heard of projection? Fucking sick of it, dude. Because of that fucking Facebook video that Jessica made, it's all over fucking YouTube, and fucking people are sitting there worried sick about me, and I appreciate it. But no, I'm fine, dude. Like sick of it, YouTube. Observation. You are not fine. You too need help. That's really all there is to it. 